Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing Iran's missiles. Let's get started. Iran possesses the largest and most diverse missile arsenal in the Middle East with thousands of ballistic and cruise missiles, some capable of striking as far as Israel and southeast Europe. For the past decade, Iran has invested significantly to improve these weapons' precision and lethality. Such developments have made Iran's missile forces a potent tool for Iranian power projection and a credible threat to US and partner military forces in the region. Iran has not yet tested or deployed a missile capable of striking the United States, but continues to hone longer-range missile technologies under the auspices of its space launch program. Iran is also a major hub for weapons proliferation, supplying partner proxy groups such as Hezbollah and Syria's al-Assad regime with a steady supply of missiles and rockets, as well as local production capability. Since 2015, Iran has provided immense Houthi rebels with increasingly advanced ballistic and cruise missiles, as well as long-range unmanned aerial vehicles. Most recently, Iran has been equipping Shiite militia groups in Iraq with rockets and other small projectiles for use against Iraqi and US military and diplomatic facilities. Iran has the largest and most diverse ballistic missile arsenal in the Middle East. Most were acquired from foreign sources, notably North Korea. The Islamic Republic is the only country to develop a 2,000-kilometer missile without first having a nuclear weapons capability. Iran is still dependent on foreign suppliers for some key ingredients, components, and equipment, but it has the technical and industrial capacity to develop long-range missiles, including an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. The military utility of Iran's liquid-fuel ballistic missiles is limited because of poor accuracy, so these missiles are not likely to be decisive if armed with conventional chemical or biological warheads. But Tehran could use its missiles as a political or psychological weapon to terrorize an adversary's cities and pressure its government. Iran's indigenous Fata-110 family of solid-fuel missiles have achieved the precision necessary to destroy military and critical infrastructure targets reliably, as demonstrated during its 2020 attack against U.S. forces stationed at an al-Sad airbase in Iraq using Zulfagar missiles. Iran should not be able to reliably strike Western Europe before 2022 or the United States before 2025 at the earliest. Iran's space program, which includes the successful launch of several small crewed satellites into low-Earth orbit using the Safir and Kassad carrier rockets, proves the country's growing ambitions and technical prowess. Since 2016, the larger, more powerful Seamorg failed to put a satellite into orbit during four launch attempts and remains a work in progress. Background the Iranian missile program began during the so-called War of the Cities, during which Iraq began deliberately attacking civilian targets in Iran. Reactions After the March 2016 test firing, the U.S. asked the U.N. Security Council to discuss the tests. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power said the tests were provocative and destabilizing. At least one missile had, Israel must be wiped off the face of the earth, written on them in Hebrew. Sources differ on whether the tests violate Security Council resolutions. On March 29, 2016, the US, Britain, France, and Germany wrote a joint letter to UN Chief Ban Ki-moon accusing Iran of defying Security Council Resolution 2231 that endorsed the July 2015 deal. The letter said the missiles were inherently capable of delivering nuclear weapons. However, it stopped short of saying the tests were illegal. Resolution 2231 calls for Iran to refrain from activity related to nuclear-capable missiles. But according to diplomats, the language is not legally binding and cannot be enforced with punitive measures. After the January 29, 2017 missile test by Iran, on February 3, the Trump administration imposed sanctions on Iran's 25 individuals and entities, which it said were but initial steps, with Trump's national security adviser Michael T. Flynn adding that, The date of turning a blind eye to Iran's hostile and belligerent actions towards the United States and the world community are over. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts on Iran's missiles in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.